Welcome to Worship Tutorials. Hello. Today we have a demo of the Keeley Halo Delay, the Andy Timmons Duel. I love Andy Timmons, Bradford. He's so good. He's so underrated. If you don't know Andy Timmons, check him out. This is his delay pedal. And uh, I think maybe the first thing we should do, you've heard it already, but let's just demo his delay sound. Mm. I'm gonna, this is what happens. You get the pedal, you turn it on. Wait, 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 let's make sure they understand. Nothing. There's no reverb. This pedal is off. You we get should, the halo. We should take it off just to prove it, but. Yeah, you get the halo, you turn it on, it does this. That's a beautiful thing. That is a sound. That sounds so good. That sounds beautiful. Again, no reverb on. <laughs> and in a lot of the demos we made, the playing sample demos, we didn't have the reverb on because we want to show you just how much like I don't know, what, what's the word you want to use? Is it just in like this pedal. it just like diffuses. Characters? Yeah, it diffuses and mm -hmm. like does crossover and that's a big part of it. That's why a lot yeah. of players use dual delay. The Halo is, again, dual delay pedal from Keeley in association with Andy Timmons, and it does a lot in a small package. So we're gonna spend some time going over the features and just showing you, we're gonna twist the knobs and show you what it does. Uh, and then we're gonna end the video with sort of our thoughts. Uh, and we're coming at this too from like, we, we are praise and worship guys. If you're not familiar with the channel, we play worship music in church and we love delay and we love reverb. Mm -hmm. And uh, this thing, this kind of we love both, this thing. But it, yes. it doesn't do reverb, but it does. Yeah. <laughs> So we want to give you just an overview of what the pedal does. I have the manual here to help me. All right. Uh, it does so a lot. It does a lot. And there, you know, each one of these knobs has a secondary function. It's very easy to get to. And of course you can see here, they've got, we've got banks and then two buttons. So you've got basically two sounds per bank and you have access to four banks. These are terms that you might be familiar with time, and level, again, time is just how long it takes to repeat. Level, how loud the repeats are. Uh, feedback, how many repeats there are. And then you've got right on the front, rate and depth. And I think they this was on purpose. This pedal, uh, we would characterize this as a character delay. Oh yeah. So it has a lot of character in the way the repeats sound. Even just one delay at a time has it's like gobs of character right. dripping. <laughs> so, and he, I mean, Andy Timmons, uh, if you watch enough videos of him talking about this delay, he mentions uh, his Deluxe Memory Man pedals a lot. And the Memory Man, the, the, the vintage Deluxe Memory Man pedals have a lot of modulation and stuff in them. They roll the top end off in a really musical way. So all that is built into this pedal and it's very accessible. So. Uh, you have rate and depth that controls the rate and depth of the modulation. Now, each one of these knobs you can see has another word, another function written underneath it. So, if you press the feedback button, you're then accessing the alt controls. So, if you press and hold, this is a high pass filter. Again, that's going to roll uh, lows out. So, it allows, allows the highs to pass. There you go. Allows the you were going to say that. Through. Yes, I just wanted to say something smart. We are of one accord, Bradford, in the same car. The uh, secondary function under this knob is saturate. So, it's going to like tape saturation 
kind of a sound. It's cool. Uh, this one is tones, so it's just brighter, darker. This one is rhythm under here, so it has five rhythm modes. I'm just gonna open the manual. I didn't know that. Yeah, and here are the rhythm modes. First of all, you've got quarter note, that's the one furthest. I've just been fine with the two sounds we had on there. To the, <laughs> to the left. Quarter note, uh, dotted eighth, so those are subdivisions. Uh, straight up the middle, the circle thing is the logo of the thing as well. That's the Andy Timmons halo sound. That is a quarter note and a dotted eighth note together. They start sort of separated and then they start to they cross, over. cross over. I think crossover is the term crossovers. for delay. I think so. Yeah. Next is bucket brigade and then there is a tape delay algorithm as well. Those are all on the rhythm dial. You heard preset A, that's the Andy Timmons sound. Preset B is this dotted eighth sound. And then Bradford's gonna play, I'm gonna start goofing with stuff. Okay, so hopefully you got a clear idea of just the range of sound that you get from all these controls that are built in. All of that was done on the dotted eighth delay rhythm setting. That's what this preset B is in bank one. <laughs> Let's go through the rhythm sounds. So oh, yeah. we're gonna go, um, again, you gotta press the alt bu uh, knob down. We're gonna start over here at quarter note. I'm gonna tap it in. And then we'll show you what this sounds like. In there. When we say character delay, char lots of characters. Thank you. 
things, both of these buttons have press and hold functions. You'll see Bradford in the playing samples uh, show off the freeze function. To freeze, what you do is, uh, the, like, so preset A is on, you press and hold the other button. So if A is on, you press and hold B. If B is on, you press and hold A. And it's like a sustain pedal for a piano or a keyboard. Anything you play just keeps going and going and going. So you really demonstrated that well, but we can show you what that looks like real quick right now. <laughs> So it gets it gets wild. Uh, it doesn't get like really wild, like an actual analog delay pedal. Yeah. If you were to do that, it gets it can get like out, out of control, control quick. So it's like it's like been musically dialed in. I want to show you uh, the tap tempo uh, and maybe a little bit about how you can save and access different sounds. To get tap tempo, just forget this is here. Yeah, if you don't have that set up, uh, if you press and hold the button that's activated, it gets you into tap tempo, and you'll see the lights start flashing. So. Uh, we can demonstrate that real quick. Bradford can play and then I'll just tap in where he's playing. All right. Well, what's nice is when you're done tapping, like you don't have to back out. There are yeah. some delay pedals that have a similar feature. And yes. like when you're in tap mode, you're in tap mode. So you have to press and hold, oh, yeah. tap, press and hold to get out because yeah. then you can't turn the pedal on and off. So it's like, nobody, I, mean, I guess maybe it's you want well tap tempo out. always mm -hmm. at your disposal. But if you want yeah. that, you can put the button there. It's small yeah. enough, but that's just such a small, but real nice feature. Yeah, and it's like, this thing does so much in such a tight form factor. <laughs> things about how this pedal works you can cycle through banks one of two ways this little button right here will cycle through them so there you can see when all three buttons are lit up you're in the fourth bank uh, or you can press both at the same time which is convenient when you're standing <laughs> and playing yes uh, each bank then has two presets per bank you will get trails like if you um, if you play something and then we'll switch to the other bank or the other preset But you notice when you switch banks, the trails go away. Yes. So there are some quirks with it in that regard. Okay, and it saves to the tempo that you yes. saved it at. That's another quirk. So it's, but it kind of, it's like quirk. But I don't, I think people probably don't understand that in order to do this, the amount of processing power. Yeah. So to like have like a global tempo feature probably takes a lot of right. processing power, and and like. You know, like it sounds as good as the big box delays, but it doesn't have all the features that they right. do. And I, I'm guessing the that's delay probably computers. It. Yes. Yeah. One other little quirk with it, and then we'll get to our our final thoughts. Uh, it's like a lot of times when you hear dual delay, like when we set up, we make a lot of presets for Helix, Axe Effects, these things. When we set up dual delays, we'll have like a quarter note delay here and a dotted eighth here, so it's like dun 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 dun, dun, dun right. It spreads everything out. This doesn't do it. It's not. It's a stereo pedal, 
don't don't misunderstand that part. But um, it's like it's don't da 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 da. It's all it's like both your sides. first initial repeats you'll hear separated. Yeah, you hear the sounds separated, but they're not in 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 opposite speakers or yeah. you know that kind of thing. It's like a stereo image. It's a little different. It's both sides even. Yeah, it's right. It's different though. It's like it's got like a widener on it. Yes. So it's a different purpose. Like it's like yeah. it's the same idea as if you're running one delay. Yeah. But when you run two, it's like it's it's widening. It just it's cool. It's a different approach, but yeah. it's what Andy wanted. Like he wanted this that is his sound. AT yes. Andy Timmons, my friend, apparently. Um I'd, it's I'd like, like what he friends. wanted. Like what are what are your final thoughts, Brett? It's on this board today. It's the only delay pedal. It is. And we, we use some reverb in I the demos, but don't you don't really it. need it. It does like a different thing. Right. Yeah. We we tried to keep the reverb to a minimum. I think there's one or two two of the I did little sections but I where we myself. have a big verb in I'm there. I'm not sorry. Yeah, but like this thing, this has a different character and feel when you let everything ring together, especially in that Andy Timmons, the halo mode. Uh, it's like, it's not reverb. It's different, but it feels like it, and it's. it's That's why cool. it's called a halo because it's like surrounding the. Yeah. That he talks about. He's I actually funny enough. I think I dug up an old Annie Timmons video mm -hmm. where he was talking about like his Mesa Lone Star, and like he described then we're talking like early two thousands. Yeah. He described how he uses his delays. Like to kind of like create like a halo. Like I'm pretty yeah. sure that's in that video. Kind of crazy. So he's been on this thing for a while. I and if you listen to him, so if you listen if you listen to Andy talk about this, and we're we're friends now too, Andy. If you listen to to him talk about this pedal, he talks about how it's like in his. He doesn't like. I don't think he changes the tempo. He just no, turns it on. So. No. It's just his sound. Yeah. Right. He just and he and he plays at different tempos. It's just. Yeah, it's just creating that effect, that ambience for him. And uh, he does some stuff that, that sounds like pretty kind of ambient. And I'm going to guess a lot of it is is delay-based mm -hmm. more than reverb. I'm not sure on that. But, you know, James Duke is the same way. He'll yeah, use, he, he'll use delays more than reverb. And he uses like an ambient. RV5. Like that's his, at Similar least what thing. I see on his board often. Yeah. And he runs mono. Oh, my goodness. Gasp. Yes. So, uh... Can it P and W, Bradford? This is worship tutorials. Can it P and W? I hope that the answer is clear. Yes. I think it excels. Absolutely. Could this be the only delay pedal on your pedal board? It's the I, only delay pedal on this pedal board. It is. I think it could. I like this board. It does sound great. I I would want personally. I'd want for my own insurance. I'd want like something else just to have an addition. <laughs> I'm weird. You have to also keep in mind, Bradford and I are reverb and delay fanatics. I'm, like, you've got how many delays on your board? You got the Empress well, delay. Well, I, yeah, I got the Empress. Is that your main? That's that your is, but that's, I could use the Zoya for that's delay, a delay. I've got like three different delay pedals that could be pedals that could be delays on my board, including a DD500 and an H90. So we like delay, suffice to say. But I will, as as a, a counter to your, you would want another one. This is how I would do it. I think I think like this could absolutely be the only delay pedal on a board if you're not a delay fanatic for one uh, because here's how I would do it I would set them both up I'd set a and B up you could have basically two delay sounds right I, I love the halo sound and maybe a dotted eighth and then maybe you'd be able to get to a quarter and an eighth on another bank but if you just turn it on so it's one two three and you're in time you switch to the other delay one two three like Delay, tap, tap, and you're in t like, you're always in tempo, right? So it's not going to be like, you're not going to hook up a big MIDI controller to this thing and send clock to it and have it sync to everything. It's not what this is for. Yeah. It doesn't do that thing. But I do think it, it, it can act really well as the only delay pedal on your board. Yeah. It's a simpler setup. It can. It can totally. But it has some really cool sounds in it. Yeah. It's got great texture. I love it. I, take delay is my preference. Well, we've had a, a lot of fun making these samples with this, making these sounds with this, putting it on this board. Uh, it's super inspiring. So I want to say thank you to Keeley uh, for, for sending this out to us. Thank you to Andy Timmons. Us the opportunity yeah. To do it. yeah. Thank you, Andy Timmons, for just making awesome tones. Inspiring me. That's right. When I was a wee lad. <laughs> thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, Wait. this is your moment. This is your
Now, last thing that needs to happen. Enough of those flubs probably cover up last, the YouTube la strike. We're going in a different direction. Can you play play us some Halo soundtrack like the video game? <laughs> Steve Vai. I just remember it's Steve Vai. Uh, so good. I'm playing. I started. I started Halo again. Yes. I hate the flood. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, the flood is so annoying. That's where I'm at with Echo Spark, Echo three four three, whatever. Yes. That's the end of the Halo video, not the video game. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>